drag in the water. Practice, practice, practice. Smolder's arms pulled her through the pool quickly and confidently. She was new to swimming through water, but it was nothing compared to the lava that she'd known growing up in the Dragonlands. So, not only could she swim well, she could also swim very fast. Time! Smolder gasped as she slapped the edge of the pool and eagerly waited to hear her results. Ocellus, who had been buzzing her wings and tapping a pseudo-hoof from her perch on the concrete, ran some quick mental math. Two minutes and forty-five seconds. Or maybe forty-three. Uh, one of the two. Definitely not forty-four, though. They really do need to hang a clock in here. Smolder waved it off as she reclined against the curb, with her legs still idly kicking. Even rounding down to 44, it's still not fast enough to beat ST's record. Ocellus didn't have to follow Smolder's line of sight to know that she was fixating on the bulletin board on the gym's far wall. Old pamphlets and ads hung from its age staples, most of them promoting upcoming school sporting events, but a few were newspaper clippings from expos that had already happened. One of them was last year's freestyle swimming finalists. Smolder had scoffed when Silverstream pinned it up, teasing that the ability to conjure a sea ponytail at will was a bit of a game-breaker. The scoffing stopped after she saw that Silverstream had only placed second in the rankings. Someone identified only by the initials ST had beaten her by a whole nine seconds. How many times did it take me to beat Silverstream's time? Smolder asked. Ocellus rolled her compound eyes, knowing the question was rhetorical. You did it on the first attempt. By Faust, I did. But how long have I been coming here to try and beat STs? Every evening for about six weeks, which is way longer than what's probably healthy. Ugh, I don't get it. Why is it so important you prove yourself faster than some faceless goober? Isn't beating Silverstream enough? It's a dragon thing. You wouldn't understand. Ocellus kicked the water. Not hard enough to lose balance and fall in, but just at the right angle to splash Smolder indignantly. Don't give me that cold shoulder like that. I've impersonated dragons before, and while I'm not proud of it, I did at least learn first hoof that your kind doesn't give a Parasprite's leg hair about organized sports. I told you straight up during the procession I'd be mooching off the endorphins you get from working out, but there's been less of them lately. Something's eating at you. Something other than me. Smolder harumphed and let go of the poolside so she could bob lazily on her back. By now, she really should have learned not to lie to an empath. Then again, she also should have beaten ST's time by now, given how hard that she had been pushing. Stubbornness was Smolder's hammer, and it hadn't had much luck with her life's most recent nails. Hey, Cell, do you remember that canoeing field trip where Professors Dash and Jack argued nonstop? I wish I could forget. That gave me a bad aftertaste that lasted till the next afternoon. Uh-huh. Well... What I mostly remember about that day was how you turned into a fish to save Yona after everyone capsized. Really? Yeah. Right away you were able to change into something custom-built for speed in the water. And Silverstream's the same way. She's got that magic pearl piece, or whatever it's called. But knowing there's a pony at this school who's a better swimmer than her, using nothing but grit made me think that maybe I could work hard to be that good, because I never imagined I'd ever have a chance to be the best at anything, so... This all sounds super lame now that I say it out loud. Ocellus traced a lazy line on the water's surface, literally chewing on Smolder's aspirations. How are you so sure that ST is a pony? And a stallion too? He's gotta be. Only five non-ponies go to the school, all of them in our friend group. And ST has got to be a big beefy stallion with leg muscles to match, because even my hardest kicking can't keep pace with him. I'm... I'm just... Not as good as he is. And, and I probably never will be, no matter how hard I try. But scooch over, will ya? I'm gonna get out. I'm gonna grab my towel so I can just metaphorically throw it in. A week went by after Smolder stopped swimming. Then on Saturday, several tentative knocks sounded on her dorm room door. It's for you. Ocellus predicted without even looking up from the Moonga that she was reading. Smolder frowned, but answered anyway. She wasn't the easily surprised type, but the pony who'd come calling certainly caught her off guard. And the reason why is because she'd never seen a hairless pony before. Uh, hiya. He mumbled, pawing a fleshy hoof on the carpet bashfully. Uh, hi? Do you wanna... Do you wanna come in? Nah, I mean, no thank you. I'm, uh, 
just on my way to swim practice and was only stopping by because your roommate asked me to. Smolder threw a glance behind her, but Ocellus must have strategically left the room, or changed into a microscopic life form, or something, because her Munga volume was laying unattended on the couch. She said that you were a swimmer too, and that we might hit it off if we met. My name is Sam and Tone. The hairless pony was apparently also featherless, and he extended a functionless right wing in a gesture of friendship. Smolder, came the reserved reply. She gripped Salmon's wing and gave it a firm shake. So, Ocellus came to me the other day saying that you were aiming for my record. And that is pretty wild. I don't have a cutie mark, you know, because of my whole alopecia thing, but the spot where it should be glows strong when I'm in the water. That's how I know what my special talent is. And I guess it makes sense, since I got no mane or tail to slow me down. But enough about me. What's your trick? Smolder blinked. Uh, mine? Yeah! Ocilla said that you were able to beat Silverstream's time without sweating, and she's able to turn half fish! I had a kick for all I was worth to rocket past her in the finals last year, and that's even with my... uh, special advantage. So, what's your secret? Something that a non-dragon like me can learn, I hope. Smolder shuffled from one foot to the other, a smile tugging at the edges of her mouth. Well, there's no trick. I just... push myself really hard, I guess. Well, Tartarus, I already do that. Was kinda hoping that you had some technique to share or something. Sorry. Hey, no need to apologize. I'm sure those scales of yours are way harder to drag in the water than my slippery hide is. If practice is all it takes, then practice is what I'll do. I gotta defend my record, after all. Salmon gave a jovial laugh, which Smolder returned with a slow but sure nod. The bald pony's passion was making it progressively easier to get past his plucked chicken appearance. So... I'll see you around the pool then, Smolder? Uh, did I get that right? Yes, yeah, sir. Uh, both my name and that you'll definitely be seeing me in the water again. Then I'm looking forward to it. It feels good to size up the competition in person, huh? It helps remember that you're not up against some force of nature we just can't beat. <sighs> it does, Salmon. It really does. You take care now. Okay, so we know that that one pony without the hair has that one condition, I forgot what it was called, but I wonder if ponies can have that, can they also have vitiligo? Or re-vitiligo, if you know that reference. That would be funny as hell, but also weird, because how the hell would the color be opposite? But that's just me overthinking really weird things. Now let's get on to our quirky donators. Top donators, Dash of Evergreen, Peter Coltard, J Tin Man, and Darkseid. Dospo, RuneScythe9852, Courier Crucii, Delta Omega, Rhiny Dragonwolf, Secret Moon, Tall Raja, The Toilet Snake, Soul Dragon, Cerberus, Starlight Glimmer, Squiddy Boy, David D. Sanchez, Gaggy, Trey, Shadow Drake, Joe Piercy, Alex F, Rainbow Dash, Tilka Anderson, TV Killer, and John Becker. Thank you all very much for watching this video. Live life to the fullest and work hard, because it is so worth it in the end.